So let's animate a rope in 3ds Max. I'm going to use Mass Effects for this and I'm going to show you how to simulate a rope in 3ds Max. Um, first of all, I'm going to show you what you might think you would do by creating a cylinder. Alright, so first things first, just knowing about edge loops and bending things and things that need to deform. If I want this cylinder to act as a rope, I'm going to need to add in a lot of segments up here. So right now I've got five height segments. I would need to crank this up for this to deform properly. And just quick and easy, I'll show you what happens if I take this. I'm going to go up to Animation, Mass Effects. I'm going to make this a cloth, create M cloth right here for Mass Effects cloth. And then I'm going to go back to Animation Mass Effects, just under Utilities, open up Show Mass Effects Tools. And then just really quickly, I'm going to hit Start Simulate. And this is going to drop and crumple up. So the problem with this and using the cylinder is the fact that the mesh of the cylinder is going to collapse in on itself. I'm going to drag my modifier panel over here. You can turn on things like balloon behavior, behavior and you can crank up the pressure and try to fill this in. It just ends up looking like a hose and if this is a hose with water in it, maybe that's fine. Or if it is a balloon, you can crank that up and you can see how crazy that reacts. Eventually it might start flying away and if I had wind or something in here, I could add forces and I could have this blowing around. Not what we want though. So. I am going to reset this. I'm going to delete that cloth modifier. I'm actually going to delete this and show you how to start this properly. So I'm going to hit F to go to the front view. I'm going to start by creating a plane. I'm going to click and drag to create the plane in the front view. We can punch in nine feet for the length for now. And for the width, we will just make this a bit thinner. The important thing here is the width segments and the length segments. So for width, we can just have this set to three, but the length segments, we need to crank that rate up. I'm gonna make it 90. So the more segments we put in length, the better this is gonna deform when it um, wraps around something or bunches up at the bottom. I'm going to take this and just make sure it's up above the grid. You can make sure it's centered in the X and Y. And I'll go ahead and add the Mass Effects cloth. Okay, so create M cloth. Now if I simulate, this is going to drop. It's going to look like a ribbon if I look at this in perspective. So the idea is we're going to use this to simulate our cloth, but we're going to create the rope from a cylinder and skin wrap it to the ribbon. So I'm going to hit reset and I'm going to make a cylinder which will act as our rope. And I'm going to make this exactly the same height, so nine feet, the exact same height segment, so 90. So we're going to line this up using a line I'm going to click on the ribbon or plane and I want X, Y, and Z selected by the centers. I want to make sure the center of the object is lined up and I'm going to change the color of the rope for now just using colors. You can add textures and stuff to this after. One more thing I'll do is if I turn on my edges by hitting F4, at the top of the cylinder right now this is not capped or there's no cap segments. I'm just going to add two segments in there. This way if I subdivide or turbo smooth this later, the top will stay kind of sharp. And then the next thing is to add a skin wrap modifier. So it's like skin but instead it's going to allow you to take an object and skin it to another object instead of bones. So I'm going to click add. I'm going to add the ribbon or the plane that's in the background. And now if I hit simulate, this drops down and we have a better looking rope. Okay, so because it's skin wrapped to the plane underneath, it's not collapsing on itself, it's just deforming. So I can actually hide the rope 
or sorry, the plane, and have just the rope visible, you can still take this rope object, the cylinder, which I'm now going to name rope, and you can s further subdivide it, just add turbo smooth, and this is what we'll get. Okay, so I put those caps or segments in the end to prevent the end from over smoothing, and this is what we get right now. So, we want a better way to control the rope. Maybe we need to animate the ends or something like that. So I'm going to show you how to set that up next. First, I'm going to hit Reset Simulation. And back in the front view, we need to, let's just say we want to control the top and bottom of the rope. Okay, so you could set up, we'll try this with a dummy object first. So let's try that. I'm going to go to Helpers. I'll create a standard dummy object and I'll just center that in the view. And I'm going to go to the front and I'm going to take this and move it up towards the top here. So this should be my controller. So you're going to take your plane, go into the modify panel, and we're going to expand M cloth to select vertex. And I'm going to click and drag around a group of verts at the top here. And over here, under group, I'm going to make a group. So you can call this rope top. And I'm going to click OK. Now, up here, we can constrain this. You can preserve or pin this so it'll stay in that space forever. But I want to use a node. I'm going to click on node. And I'm going to try to click on our dummy object here. So now the dummy object is the node for that top group of verts. So if I go back to perspective, and I'm just going to go up here and hit, you can keep your dummy object selected. If you s hit start simulation, the rope just dangles down, it hits the ground and bounces. And if I move the dummy object around, you can see those verts are pinned to the dummy object. So right now it's just updating in the viewport. If I hit reset simulation, the dummy object stays here, so I need to hit undo to put it back to where it was. If I turn on auto key, I'm going to set some keys here. So if I move this down here, I'm just going to hit play to make sure it's not too fast. I don't want the rope to whip around too much. Right, so now I can hit start simulate, and the rope falls and is stuck to that area. So I'm going to hit reset, reset up here, turn off auto key for a minute, go back. I'm going to delete these keys for now. And we're just going to copy this dummy object. You can go to the front view and we'll make a controller for the bottom. So we should name these things. I'm going to name this dummy underscore bottom. This one could be dummy underscore top and I'm going to go into my plane into the modify panel under vertex you should see that group and you can see dummy top we're going to make a new group for the bottom node so I'm going to select the verts on the bottom make a new group and we'll call this rope bottom I'm going to click OK and we're going to use the node again. We're going to click on node and make sure these are attached to our dummy object. So I'm going to hit P, go to perspective. Now this time if I hit start simulation, you can see that the rope just kind of hangs there because of gravity. And if I move, not those verts, but the dummy object at the bottom here. I'm going to turn that back on. Then these are pinned to it. Okay, so I'm going to click undo and reset. And I'm going to go to my left view. So everything's nice and straight here. So let's just say we want to make three or four different ropes and animate them by the controllers here. First thing, I'm going to make sure the simulations reset. I'm going to grab everything here. I'll just move it up a bit higher. 
and I'll move this one over to the side. I'm going to hold shift and copy this over and I'm doing this as a copy. You can make instances which is fine but I'm going to try as a copy first and see what happens when I simulate. Okay so everything looks good there. I'm going to hit reset and the reason I'm copying things out straight first is because I want to make sure everything's in its original straight starting position before I start animating the controllers. So I'm going to move these back a bit. I'll hold shift, make copies over here. So now I have four different ropes. And I'm going to show you a trick with these. So let's try this. So let's grab these bottom bits of rope. So let's just say this rope's at the top and they're going to drop in and bounce. So maybe somebody is attached to these ropes or an object's attached to these ropes and they're falling in from the ceiling. So I'm going to start by animating these bottom dummy objects going up. So here's the trick. We're going to go to frame 10, turn on auto key, and I'm going to move these up like this and then I'll just pull them all into the middle. So a quick way would be to just keep them selected and right click on select move, set the X and Y to zero, now they're all in the middle. All right, so if I scrub back, it's gonna animate like this. So I'm gonna hit start simulation. First of all, I'm gonna save the file. We haven't saved. We should be saving the file just in case anything crashes. If you're simulating with Mass Effect, it's a good idea to keep saving. So this is Rope, Mass Effects, click Save. Now I'm going to simulate. Okay, so I'm going to let the rope settle up here like this. Okay, it's just simulating in real time right now. And I'll just hit Stop right about there. Now I'm going to grab these things and hit Capture Transform. Okay, so I'm doing this. I'm going to take the keys from the dummies in the middle and I'm going to take that key and replace frame zero. So if I scrub back, nothing's moving. Now if I hit Reset Simulation, all these pieces are frozen like this because I captured their transform. Alright, so now I can animate those dummy objects moving down. So instead, of, I'm going to hit undo because you can see how I had this set up. It's going to be difficult to select without using select by name. It's going to be difficult to select each box and figure out which one belongs to which rope. So instead, I'm going to take these frames and reverse them. Okay, so now we're starting in that position and they're going to animate dropping down. Okay, so when you do this, just make sure you have everything selected in the middle here. Okay, you don't need the rope selected, but you do need those pieces. You should actually see your um, your time slider at the bottom here. If you right click and go to configure, make sure show selection range is turned on because then to reverse these keys, I can just grab the slider from the bottom left here, just drag it over and reverse it. And then I can move the whole thing back and then we have a reverse animation. And now if I simulate from that position, the ropes come down like that. All right, so I think for the video, this is a good enough demonstration. If you wanted to, you could add more keys. You could have these um, dummy objects bounce as they come down. And really you can animate these however you want at this point but this is how you would set this up. So if I reset that, you can see it happen again. I'm gonna hit Reset Simulation and I'm gonna save the file. And I'm just gonna show that when you're ready to render, I'm gonna turn off Auto Key. So you can render this in whatever render engine you want, it doesn't matter. But all you have to do is take your pieces of rope and if you hide them and I run the simulation the simulation still works 
and if I render it's going to render no problem okay so one other piece of advice is to bake everything so once you have a good simulation in here you want to bake this into the scene you don't want to have to keep simulating so if I hit bake all I'm just gonna make sure everything is unhidden I'm gonna hit bake all it's gonna run through the timeline and it's gonna set keys on everything so it's baking the animation on every frame once you do this and save it out you'll never have to worry about things not simulating properly or um, you just won't have to worry about simulating period because it's going to be baked in here but you can also remove anything that's baked so at this point before you bake anything I would maybe save out another copy just as a backup but now these are baked in and they're not simulated so you can actually scrub the timeline back and forth and again I would just hide the planes and only render the ropes and if you select these you can unbake selected and it removes the keyframes and then we're back to where we started alright so if there's anything confusing about this or if you can't get it to work or there's any other questions uh, send me an email and I'll try to help you out and I can show this in class as well but this is simulating ropes with mass effects.